Hello, my name is Laura and in this video I'm going to explain how to solve an example of the financial sector using the machine learning software Neural Designer. The topic of this example is fraud detention. We have a dataset with numerous credit card payments and we want to classify them as fraudulent or non-fraudulent depending on different features. At the end of this video, we will see that using machine learning, we can correctly classify 95% of the fraudulent transactions. The first step is to download the data file. We open it and we see that it contains information about 3075 transactions, because as we can see, the first row contains the name of the variables. There are 11 columns the merchant's ID, the average amount per transaction per day, the transaction amount, if the credit card is declined, the total number of declines per day, if it's at foreign transactions, if the transactions from a high-risk country, the daily average of charge back, the six months average of charge back, the frequency of the six months charge back, and finally the target variable. In this case, it is, is fraudulent which tell us whether or not the transaction is fraudulent. Then we open Neural Designer and we can see that in the main tab there are two kinds of projects we can create. In this case, we want to classify the transactions are fraudulent or not fraudulent. So we need a classification project. Once we have created the project, the first thing we have to do is to import the dataset we have just downloaded. Once it is imported, we can see the data preview where we can check the number of columns and the total number of transactions. In this table, we can check the different variables or features and select a target variable. In this case, as we have said before, it is as fraudulent. In order to get some information from the data, we will start performing some analysis. First, we want to know how the different variables are distributed and in order to do that, we can calculate the column distributions. We have different distribution charts for all the variables and at the end, we have the pie chart for our target variable. We can observe that only around 15% of the transactions are fraudulent. The aim of this video is to create a model to target this 15%. We can also check which of the variables have the greatest impact on the target variable. The way to do this is to calculate the input-target correlations. Here we can see that the variable with the highest correlation is high-risk country. This means that if a transaction is from a high-risk country, it is more likely that it's also fraudulent. On the other hand, the variable of the average of amount per transaction per day doesn't appear to be related to whether a payment is fraudulent or not. Now, we will start building our model to predict which are the fraudulent transactions. We click in Neural Network and as first guess, we can leave the settings as they are by default, but it's also possible to add or remove both perceptron layers and neurons. Now, we can create and see the Neural Network. This diagram means that when we introduce 9 outputs or variables in the Neural Network, it gets back one output for the target variable. The next step is to search for the parameters for the neural network that fit it to the dataset. This process is called training. We train the neural network and in this chart we can see how the error decreases. The most important result in the training is the final selection error, which gives the general capabilities of the neural network. In order to see how well the neural network can predict the potential customers, we will perform the testing analysis. To validate a classification technique, we need to convert the values provided by this method and observe ones. The standard testing method for binary classification projects is the ROC curve. We obtain a parameter called area under the curve. A perfect model would have an area under the curve of 1, and in this case the value is almost 1. Another testing method is the confusion matrix. In this matrix, we can observe in the diagonal which transactions have been correctly classified. 
96 transactions are fraudulent and were also classified as fraudulent, and 505 are not fraudulent and were also classified as non-fraudulent. On the other hand, we can see on the size the number of transactions that have not been classified correctly. Five transactions are fraudulent but were classified as non-fraudulent, and nine transactions are not fraudulent but were classified as fraudulent. Overall, 97% of the payments were correctly classified with this model. We can also click in Calculate Binary Classification Tests. Here, we can get the sensitivity. In this case, it is 95%. This means that from all the fraudulent payments, our model is able to classify correctly 95% of them. Finally, in the Model Deployment section, we can calculate outputs. We can introduce the variables of a new transaction and calculate the probability that this transaction is fraudulent. We introduce the variables and we see that this transaction has a probability of 88% of being fraudulent. Moreover, it is also possible to get the mathematical expression which can be also supported to Python or C. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this tutorial helped you out to learn how to use Neural Designer profitably for your company.